When you're asked to use the inverse of a matrix to solve a system of linear equations, the first thing you need to do is be able to take your system of, of equations and convert them into matrix form. So that's the first thing we're going to do. So here's our equation, and we have th equations. We have three variables, x, y, and z, so we're going to have three columns. Columns go um, are vertical, and rows are horizontal. So we have, we're going to have three rows because we have three equations. Right? And we know that if you have three variables, three unknowns, you need three equations in order to solve them. Okay? So you're going to take this coefficient from um, the first equation and for the x, y, and z value and put them in your first matrix. Okay? So negative 7 halves, 3 and negative 4 go here, and then you repeat the process for the second equation and the third equation. And then we're going to have a matrix with our x, y, and z in it. And then we're going to have a matrix, it's going to, we're going to set it equal to the constants of each of those three equations. Okay, then what we're going to do is, I just want you to realize that, you know, we could represent this first matrix as an A. The second matrix, we'll call it matrix X, that's our variable. And um, that's going to be equal to our constant matrix, we're going to call that B. Now, if I asked you to solve for th this for X, you'd think, oh, okay, I just need to multiply or... If you multiply it by its inverse of A, then A and times the inverse of A, they'll, that will, they will undo each other. That's the definition of, of, a, of an inverse. Okay, So it leaves you with X on the left. If you multiply the right side by the inverse of A times B, that's actually then going to give you your solution. Okay, So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take our matrix A. We're going to plug it into the graphing calculator. It gives us the inverse matrix back. We take that and we're going to multiply it by our B value. And that's going to give us our solution. So if I find the inverse of A, I multiply it by matrix B. And that gives me a matrix that looks like this. In this case, it was 20, negative 24, and negative 37. So that's my X, Y, and Z values. X is 20, Y is a negative 24, and Z is a negative 37. So let me show you what that actually looks like in Alex. Okay, now my explanation I just gave you is probably going to take us longer than um, it is to solve this particular question. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click onto my calculator and I see that I have a matrix button. So I'm going to click on that. And this, I'm my first matrix, I want to make that into a 3x3 three three matrix. And then I'm going to take my coefficients here and enter them in. So I'm going to take a negative 3 over 2. And I'm just using the back arrow key to, to do my fractions. And then I have 3 over 2 and a 2. And then I'm going to put in negative 5 halves for my row 2, my second equation. And then 7 halves. And then 4. And then in row 3, I have a 3. I have a negative 4 and I have a negative 5. Now I need to click out of the matrix, so I'm out, off to the right here. I need to click over here, down here on the matrix tab, and find the one that looks like m to the negative 1, because remember that's not negative 1, it is, that that's how we say the inverse for matrix. Okay, and you can see now I have this, is um, going to calculate the inverse matrix, I just need to click equals, and that gives me my inverse matrix. So I'm going to come over here. I need this in my answer here. I, part of your answer will be to write down what the inverse matrix is. So I'm going to need my 3 by 3. And then I just need to go ahead and enter the same data that I have in my graphing calculator. Negative 1. Oops. So negative 1. Make sure it's entered correctly, right? 3 and 2 and a negative 1 and negative 3 and negative 3. And then I'm going to times that by um, the constant matrix. So I need, I need to move this a little bit. I need a one row, one that has one column and three rows. I need to enter in the constants, negative 3. 4 and negative 7. Just a reminder that came from these values right here. 
Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and enter these two values into my graphing calculator and multiply them together. So I'm going to need to start this again by doing a matrix. I want to do a 3 by 3, and I just enter this data in again. So a negative 3, negative 1, negative 2, negative 1, 3, and two. Oops, except for you don't want to do that. <laughs> there you go. Thank goodness for that undo button. Okay, and then negative one, negative three, negative three. And then we want to click out of that and click multiply. And then I want to create another matrix and I want this one to be a one by three. So one column by three rows. And I'm going to enter the negative three the 4, and the negative 7. And then push equals. And this gives me my solution. My x value is 19. My y value is 1. And my z value is 12. So you can see, um, once you're using this graphing calculator, that this is going to be much easier to solve.